Well, welcome Taurus and thank you for being here today. This is your monthly love message for November 2020. I've already pulled your crowning card and your crowning wisdom card. So let's have a look at them. Okay, Taurus, for your crowning message, you have the seven of water. Sorry, there's a bit of a glare there. You have the seven of water, uh, Taurus. Now, the water in these cards are representative of the cups in traditional tarot. So this is all about emotions, um, sensitivity, feelings. And this card is saying that this is a time for imagination, taking that path of artistic endeavours, co-creating with spirit is almost as if you are being guided by divine to dream, imagine what is it you want for your future? What is it you want to achieve? If you are dreaming and imagining, you know, this person coming into union with you, then just be confident that it will happen. It's all about seizing the opportunity and knowing that spirit, divine, the universe has the power of possibilities. And, you know, spirit, divine, universe, they, they don't doubt, they, you know, they don't doubt their ability to manifest, to bring forth what it is that is for the higher good of all. And I feel that with the seven of water, you are being guided to trust your intuition, trust your feelings and emotions. And if you want this connection of the person that you're thinking about for the month of November, then just know that it will happen. And I'm being kind of drawn to the circle of shells and fish here. It's as though you are going through a transformation, opening up to the possibilities of what you can manifest. If you think it, dream it, want it, then allow divine to bring it in for you because it will happen. For your crowning wisdom message, Taurus, you have compassion. And it says, dearest one, be compassionate towards yourself. Surrender the self-criticism and fear that has you believing you need to improve in order to be worthy. You are perfect just as you are. The only thing that needs to change is your perception. You will come to realise the jewel you are when you love and honour yourself as you are. Absolutely. It's almost... I almost feel... Um, Taurus, that what you're being guided to is if you want this connection or the person that you're thinking about and you may not feel that perhaps you're not on par with them, you, you may feel that you lack in some shape, form or another, I feel that Divine is saying love yourself first. Know that what you desire is yours if you Think it, dream it, imagine it. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. And I feel with the colouring of this card being this violet purple colour, this is all about opening up your third eye chakra, seeing things from a very different perspective. You are a jewel. You are beautiful. Love yourself. Know that you deserve this fantastic love that's coming your way. You can make it happen co-create with divine, go into meditation, go into prayer if that's what you're in, go on nature walks, whatever allows you to connect with your inner self, then I feel that that's what you need to do, harness these emotions, go through this transformation of understanding your feelings, dreaming the impossible because you can, you are, you are a jewel you know, in the eyes of your spirit team, divine, the universe, because you're loved. 
let's get straight into your cards taurus my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does the soulmate of taurus sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love for the month of november 2020 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards taurus that we're allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you okay taurus powerful message and you know what i've just been drawn to taurus this deck that i i was drawn to for your reading the Taurus card I have, you are abundant. You have everything that you need to manifest this connection, to manifest this person into your life. If you're seeking, you know, um, a transformation of an existing relationship, imagine it, dream it, believe it, because know that you deserve the very, very best when it comes to your emotions, when it comes to life in general. Let's get into your cards. Thank you. Wow. Hierophant. Wow. Okay. Um, let me just continue pulling the cards. And we have Chariot. Uh, thank you. We have the Seven of Cups. Thank Wow. These are just popping out. We have the Emperor. And one more card, please, for the collective of... Thank you. Okay. Right, Taurus. Ah, look at that. The Four of Cups. Okay, Taurus, I feel that this message is, is really, really clear for you guys. I feel that the person that you're connecting with or you may see this person as marriage material with the Hierophant there. I feel that they may want to rush in or you may want to rush in, Taurus. There may be differences be between you both, but I feel that you do want to rush into this connection. But you may be pulling back um, with the Seven of Waters and I feel that your wisdom is just saying to you, do you know what, you just need to... Um, you just need to accept that you are extremely special and you are a jewel. With the uh, Seven of Cups, I feel that there's choice, um, maybe misunderstanding, miscommunication, and somebody wants to take control of it. I feel that the person you're connecting to is thinking about you, I would say, on a daily basis. That's too many cards. More information, we have the Seven of Coins, we have the Eight of Wands. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you give me more in-depth, more insight please to the question. How does the soulmate of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Thank you. We have the Three of coins are we do we need to let me just shift this down just a tad taurus so that we can see as much as possible with the cards thank you and then we have hermit and just one more card please whoops okay one card fell on the floor the ones that fell on the table were face down, which were too many. So I'm just going to take the one on the floor, Taurus, which is the Six of Swords. Okay. All right. Taurus, I feel the person that you are connecting to definitely sees you as marriage material. And I feel that they recognise that either you've put in the work um, or they have put in the work and now this connection is ready to come into into union I feel as though that they do want to rush in towards you so I don't know you know 
if you are doubting this relationship, I, I feel as though divine is saying, know that you deserve this. There's, there's nothing to doubt here. Co-create because the politic possibility of this connection is beyond your wildest, wildest dreams, which is I can now see why the card of the seven of waters has come up. Just trust divine, just trust in the possibility because this person sees you as marriage material. They want to put in the work. They may recognise the work has already been put in and they are wanting to rush towards you with communication, back and forth communication. And I feel that they're choosing you with the Seven of Cups, wanting to put in that work. There may have been options, Taurus, for this person, but I feel that they are choosing you. Wanting to put in the work, taking control of this relationship, Possibly, you know, they might have a bit of an ego, um, Taurus. You could be dealing with the strong Aries um, or Virgo with with the Hermit card here. But I feel that they, they want to take the lead. They want to take control um, of this connection. And they might be going in really seeking guidance because something may have happened that kind of derailed this connection slightly, but they're moving away from it, not fully out of the water, um, not fully out of the, yeah, out of the water, out of this situation. And in the process, they're thinking about you constantly. What if they, if they did have choices, um, Taurus, if they had other options, I feel that those options are not serving them anymore with the four of cups they're focused on you and that might explain why you feel as though perhaps this connection won't come you know come into fruition and i feel that divine is saying be compassionate to yourself because it's as though divine spirit the universe is reshaping remolding this connection thank you look and we have the world card yeah, some sort of cycle is ending and a new cycle is beginning with this person for sure. You may be um, at a distance, um, maybe across the waters, um, Taurus, but I feel as though they are thinking about you quite heavily, really looking at the detail of this connection. Work may have been an issue or wherever this option if this is a third party situation, um, it may have been with somebody in their workplace and we've got the chariot. They are being divinely guided towards you for sure. You've got the chariot covering the chariot. But in this particular card, the divine light is coming in, shining, protecting um, this connection. And I feel that this back and forth communication is what's going to... Um, you know, encourage them to just want to come forward to you. And yet, because they're choosing you. With the seven of wands, they may have had options, um, Taurus, but they're choosing you. They may have felt that you had options and they may feel as though they have to fight off the competition, which, which explains why the emperor is here is almost it is almost as if they're trying to say no taurus is um my person this is the person that i want to have something solid with have a marriage with build a future but they may not be coming at it in a correct way let's just put it like that yeah with the two of wands they were at a crossroads they were at a crossroads. That explains why this Six of Swords is here. I feel that they were at a crossroads in this connection with you, um, Taurus. Not sure which way to go, but what they did know is that you were their perfect match. You held the key to their heart or their box um, and you held the key to theirs. It's as though you are a matching pit and there's only one key that can open both of those um, chests there. Yeah, 
with the four of swords i feel that the person you're connecting um to went through a major transformation whatever they done in the past if this is a third party situation they've gone through a major rebirth for sure something had to close out in order for something new hence the world card coming in and i feel that they will be communicating with you back and forth communication and as i say because this particular card is in the sky there may be travel and i picked that up with the world as well but they are trying to rest that monkey mind at the moment yeah going through a rebirth wanting to take control of the situation with that emperor possibly putting behind any third third um, party options that they may have had yeah with the ten of wands i feel it, it was becoming too burdensome for them if there was a third party it was becoming too burdensome and they knew that they need to get control of themselves going through a period i feel by the end of november of really reflecting um this connection and it's all because the internal conflict they just whatever it is they're doing taurus and don't get me wrong this could be you i don't think so though because divine is saying have compassion on yourself you are a jewel you are a jewel but you know what with the seven of waters raise your vibration know that you do deserve this love know it know it believe it dream it imagine it this person is going to come around it seems as if they're going to make um, a different choice different decisions because whatever decision that they made that perhaps they what it could be miscommunication or it could be choices that they had um i feel that it it just it really it really rubbed their spirit up the wrong way because they've just got a lot of eternal internal conflict because all they're thinking about is you and they're going within seeking guidance knowing that they need to take control of their emotions and put down that burden get rid of you know if it is a third party option um, a third party situation get rid of it it's not serving them and they are moving away and look at that you have got the six of coins they know full well that they haven't been given equally into this connection taurus and i feel that they are going to be waking up um, most definitely by the end of uh, November, going into December, I would say, uh, they're going to be waking up to the fact that they need to balance out this connection with you and give equally. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me, thank you. Yep, the outcome is joy, happiness with the nine of cups not only do they see you as somebody that they want to marry as mar you see you as marriage material but they see you as somebody that you know they can just be at home with they can relax you know they don't have to be anything that they're not that you know you bring them joy the love the emotion the emotion here is just is just there and and they just feel at home with you thank you but they're in this hangman position and i feel that they're in this hangman position reflecting the choices that they had made um regarding this connection thank you and it's as though what it, you know if they brought in a third party situation into this connection um taurus I feel that they are really, really reflecting on it, going through a major rebirth because they know that you are their perfect match. But they're at this crossroads where they, they just don't know what to do right now. The third person um, that's involved in this connection, um, they uh, may be putting some pressure on them to leave you. I don't know where that's coming from, but that's what I got. And that's why they have got into this reflective mode, because they know that you are the person that they want to marry. You are the person they want to build a home with because you feel like home to them. That's too many cards that came out there. 
And with the temperance coming in, I feel that they are applying patience at this time to balance out this connection because they know they need to let go of this burden. They may, you know, recognize after this transformation with the four of swords that, you know, they do need to have that face to face conversation with you, this back and forth communication um, and almost correct the situation. I feel that's what temperance, the hermit, the emperor, and they've got to feel strongly about it, you know, that they need to correct this situation with you and put down that burden because it, their spirit was pricking them. They knew they weren't supposed to be doing what they were doing, Taurus, for sure. And they need to come and balance out this connection. And look at what's just come out, the nine of wands. They have gone through a major internal battle. Whatever they were doing, if it, if it um, was pertaining to a third person, and I'm just being guided to say a third person could be other outside influences. It could be their work. It could be family members. It could be friends. Something was interfering. A third party situation was interfering with this connection and they went through the mills and i feel that with these six of swords they're trying to put that before the behind them and come forward into balancing this connection out knowing that you are the one for them for sure thank you yeah look the seven of coins everything was in place for this connection with you but her her basket is empty they didn't they didn't choose you they didn't choose you but i feel that they're choosing you now and they are wanting to fight for this connection they've gone through some real battles i mean with the five of swords and the nine of wands which is almost like that that well this is the wounded warrior for sure um, but these battles that, that they, I feel that they had to fight, it may be the, I feel it's their battle of whatever was internally um, conflicting them. And it was to do, I feel, with the third party. I mean, it might be a romantic third party. Uh, it might be a friend. It might be family members. It might be work. But whatever it was, they want to give to this connection with the five of coins. They may be illuminated um, to this connection. That the penny is all is almost as if the penny's just dropped. But they may feel left out in the cold. But they do want to give to this connection. And I feel that's what they're reflecting. Reflecting upon, I should say. Going into this mode of the Four of Swords. Rest in that monkey mind. And with the Queen of Cups, Taurus, I feel that this is your energy. I feel that they recognise that you are somebody. Um, yeah, you are a jewel. You are. A, look at the jewels. Look at the jewels on this card. This is most definitely your energy. I feel that they know that you have nothing but love for them. And it's as though they're waking up to that. Thank you. Look at that. And we've got the sun. Victory. Ultimate victory. You have got the temperance and the sun. Right. This is so divinely guided, um, Taurus. It's unbelievable. And you both will be victorious in this connection. I think, I think you've both got a way to go. I think this person has got to sort their shit out, um, to be quite frank. Um, but they are doing it. They they are doing it. If they brought in a third party situation into your connection that made you feel that you were unloved, you weren't worthy. I feel as if divine is saying, raise your vibration, allow yourself to harness those emotions, process it, but transform and raise up your vibration. Imagine, know the possibility of this connection is for you. Believe it, know it, feel it, embrace it. It will come to fruition. Be compassionate to yourself. Whatever cock up this person done 
with a third party situation. It could be friends, family, you know, listening to other people, listening to gossip. Then you know what? You probably came away feeling like what what the heck is going on here? And I feel divine is saying, just love yourself. Just know that you're a jewel and just surrender to the self-criticism and fear of this connection. It's like this person really put you in some sort of turmoil here, some sort of cycle and divine is saying, break it, break it, raise your vibration. Know that you, um, you will come to realize the jewel you are when you love and honor yourself as you are. You just need a different perspective. The only thing that needs to change is your perception. And I feel that's your perception of you. But this connection, believe it or not, is victorious. Well, you're going to be victorious anyway, because the, the I feel that they are applying patience to come forward. And I feel that they're being, they're using their intuition. I feel as though this person that you're connecting to, Taurus, male or female, it doesn't matter. I feel as though um, they are extremely wise. They're extremely intuitive. Why the heck they even got, you know, other people involved in this connection? I have no idea. But you know what? They, karma, karma was dished out to them. With the amount of internal conflict, the Create the, the the negativity around the situation it created. Um, yeah, karma was played back, and it's almost as if now they're realizing all the seeds were planted with Taurus. Why did the heck did I not pick them? And now they want to fight for this connection coming to you a little bit battered and bruised, but they know that you are the person. To, look at that, the star. You are their wish fulfillment. And it's almost as if they are beginning to realise that. They didn't know it before. Well, they kind of knew that, that you bring them happiness, that you 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 they feel at home with you. Um, however, it's not I feel until the end of November going into December that they're really going to have an appreciation. And it's all because a tower moment came down. And it needed to come down in order for divine, your spirit team, the universe to rebuild this connection. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you give me more in depth to the outcome cards, please? More in depth, please, can you give me more in depth to the outcome cards regarding the collective? Thank you. And we, ha wow, we've got the lover's card. I had a feeling this might have been a twin flame connection, but I decided not to say it. And the reason being Taurus, because I've just finished doing another reading <clears throat> and it was quite evident <clears throat> that it was a twin flame reading. Um, and I've, I, I mean, I've just started the November messages not long finishing the twin flame reading so i don't know whether i've got that real energy of the twin flame energy around me so i thought you know what i'm not even gonna say that it feels as though it's a twin flame um but the lover's card which is my twin flame in this deck this is divinely guided and i feel that what the person that you're connecting to is reflecting upon is they do want to come in with these these messages yeah they want to come in with messages of emotion and love but they are scared and i feel temperance divine is coming in to balance that fear out um because it is self-conflicted Whatever they done, it wasn't right. It wasn't righteous at all, um, Taurus. Um, and they, like I said, they've got regrets. It wouldn't surprise me if, you know, this person that they, if it's a romantic third party situation, if they kind of tumble down on them and just wanted commitment and, and wanted something more that they just did, weren't prepared to give. Because actually... They see you as the marriage material. They see you as home, not this other person. Who knows where their head was getting other people involved in your connection. But you felt it, Taurus. You really, really felt it. And it put you in this cycle, I feel, of really doubting yourself, doubting who you are. 
that self-criticism, was I not good enough for them? And I feel divine is saying, have compassion on yourself because it wasn't about you. It's about them. And look, you've got the 10 of coins. Yeah, they want to fight for this connection. They've had a massive wake up call that it's you that they want to build a future with. And we've got the six of wands. Look at that victory over the lovers card. Yeah, there is victory. I mean, you've got the sun that's come out. So I know that I'm giving your person a real hard time. Uh, but Divine is saying that, you know, evidently you're a twin flame going on that twin flame journey. Um, but they needed to go through it. They needed to go through that tower moment that needed to happen in order for something new to be to be built. Um and I think that's what I said right at the beginning, Taurus, with the seven of water. Um, if you're in an existing relationship, something may have happened and you may be doubting yourself, doubting the connection. And I feel that divine spirit is saying you don't have to doubt anything. Just know I have got your back. Just imagine, believe in the possibility that all is well. Have compassion on yourself, love yourself, stay connected with divine. Because I feel that divine is going to weave you through um, this emotion that you're going through. With the uh, six of wands, I feel, yes, there's victory over this um, twin flame connection or deep soulmate connection. But with the five of cups, yeah, there was um, disappointment you know, heartache, real disappointment. And I feel that's your energy, Taurus. You were really upset with this person. It's as though they broke your heart. But I feel that victory is coming because I feel whatever they're going to do, they will, they've been awoken to who you are, what you're about. Maybe you do have, you know, you may have this happy home already. And I feel as though with the temperance and the sun card, you guys are meant to be together. Look, we've got the justice card. Absolutely. You were both brought into each other's lives to um, balance out some sort of karma. To teach each other something around disappointment, around being let down, around... And it's to do with love. And I feel that... The Knight of Swords is their energy, um, Taurus. And I feel that that's what, that's the, that's the person in this connection that needed to be balanced out because this connection is written. And what they're fearing is that they see you as an empress. They see you as the person that they want to build a future with. Like I say, if you are in a relationship with this person already, you may have a family already. You may have this happy home. You may already be married, but they are fearing. How can I put this? It's almost as though they have so much regard for you and they hold you in so much regard. They see you as wise, spiritual, grounded, fertile, but it scares them. And I don't know whether or not that fear is what triggered them to bring in a third party situation. And they are using every ounce of strength to break out of that fear. You could be dealing with a strong Leo with the strength card here, Taurus. But they do hold you in a high regard. Death card, you may be dealing with the Scorpio. I feel as if, and this is what I said, they've gone through a major transformation. Major transformation. I think it was with the uh, four, of, uh, four of Swords where they've gone through a rebirth, trying to rest that mind because they're in this mental torture and we've just had the death come out to just confirm they have gone through a major transformation. So have compassion on yourself. Taurus, you know, let go, surrender that self, 
criticism and fear. It's it, it wasn't down to you. It really wasn't. It's their issue that they needed to sort out. And you were part of that. Um, you be in their life triggered them to go through this. And with the Emperor, I feel that they are coming in strong. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Scorpio. Um, these are their, their uh, major arcana cards here, Taurus. But I feel as though they feel very, very strongly to build that future with you. And it comes after this transformation. Okay, your final in-depth outcome cards we have the ten of cups look at that you've got the nine of cups the lovers the ten of cups this person just sees you as joyful happiness hundred look at that they know that they disappointed you big time big 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 time that's what they're reflecting on wanting to come in with messages of uh, love to you to balance out this connection you may have given a lot into this connection and they want to balance that out now and they want to give but they they're in this mental torture because whoever or whatever got involved in this connection as i say i mean i'm picking up that it's a romantic first party but it could be you know family friends work um something um that that just really left you doubting yourself taurus but have no doubt this person loves you and they know that they've they've really hurt you and they know that that you know that you have given to this connection and they want to um they want to give give further and it's because of the six of cups i feel Taurus, that they uh, recognise you uh, yeah, as that twin flame, somebody that they have lived past lives together, for sure. And you had a bonus card that wanted to come out, the Queen of Swords. They might see you, Taurus, as somebody that's quite blunt, you know, quite straight to the point. They see you definitely as an empress, um, but they may see you as somebody that might be a bit judgmental um bit cutting um speaking their truth maybe you spoke your truth at some point but you are you are all about truth taurus you're all about the truth you may have libra in your chart <clears throat> Libra, I think you found out if this was a romantic third party situation, I think you found out and you spoke your truth. With the page of cups coming in to cover the ten of cups, yeah, I feel that this person really wants to offer this cup of emotion to you. Because they see you as their wish fulfillment, their happy home, their twin flame, deep soul connection. Yeah, you, you may have turned your back or pulled away from this person. And they know it, they feel it. But Taurus just know that it, it, was, it was a major transformation for them. It's happened the way that it needed to happen. And look, we've got the King of Swords, the uh, matching pair. Yeah, this, this is definitely a, a, a twin flame. Or a very, very deep, 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 deep soul connection. But I feel that they want to come in offering um, this cup of emotion and speaking their truth about how they hurt you, perhaps. And you will give as good as you get, um, Taurus. Yeah, look, we've got the um, Ten of Swords. This person is in mental anguish over hurting you and I, they want to correct it. They just want to correct it. Wow. Please, can you clarify further? That's too many. Please, can you clarify how does the soulmates of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? Oh, okay. 
loads of cards fell on the floor which were oh, too many Taurus. So we are just going to continue shuffling. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards? Thank you. Oh, look at that. Four of Wands. This person definitely sees you as um, their husband, their wife. You may be married to this person already, but they know that they really disappointed you and they are really up in their heads, um, a Taurus. It does feel as though you might be married to this person already, but for those of you that aren't, they do see you as somebody that they do want to marry. We've got the Hierophant up there, which is marriage material, but with the Four of Wands, this is, this is solid marriage, stability, long-term commitment. And then we have the Knight of Wands. I feel that they just feel real passionate about you. And they want to fix this with the King of Swords, um, with the Knight of Wands. They are coming in hot and heavy with a lot of passion, a lot of determination. And look, we've got the Two of Swords. Yeah, they, look, they want balance. Didn't I say someone had libra in there in their chart you could be dealing with you could have libra in your chart um taurus or you could be dealing with somebody that's got libra in their chart or a librian um but it's as if they are at this crossroads they have been illuminated um in this particular deck even though the veil they just it's as if they, they just need to remove the veil and then they will see clearly now but their heart is open to you it's not crossed the, the swords aren't crossed in front of their hard heart as with some other decks. Thank you. And this is all about coming in with this cup of love. Because, again, the king of wands, they have this passion for you, um, which they feel really, really strongly about. Because they see you as this abundant, nurturing, beautiful, handsome, if you're male. Don't forget, we're going on the energies here. So even though this is a female that's in this card, um, male Tauruses, if you are watching, you know, they see you as somebody that's independent, abund abundant, somebody that's wise. And I feel that they want to take this action real strongly towards you, offering this cup of love wanting something solid because they recognize that you have lived past lives together look this is almost feels like it's clarifying the queen of um uh, swords they 100 percent see you as somebody that is um independent energy of the queen of swords male or female it doesn't matter but they hold you with high regard they really, really do. And they know that you are protecting your heart right now. Let's have a look and see what advice we have for you. Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me your advice for the collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in love for the month of November 2020? That I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, what is your advice for the collective of thank you? The first one, wow, look at that, integrity. Yeah, hold on to your integrity, Taurus. And it says, be flexible, but also true to you. Stand by your beliefs and values and others will stand by and believe in you. What were we saying? You need to love yourself 
absolutely and know that you know what release any self-criticism that you may be holding Taurus about this connection because like I said it wasn't about you it really really wasn't hold your head up high because this person if you want them I feel divine is saying dream in the possibility of this connection dream the undreamable that's what I wanted to say um and know that you are treasured you are a jewel be compassionate with yourself hold your integrity hold your integrity walk with your head held high because it looks as if this person is coming but with their um towel between their legs and this is male or female um there is no sugar coating on this one so all of you male tauruses out there just know to humble yourself um to walk with integrity and love yourself first and foremost and also taurus uh females because we do have some taurus females as well and your second advice um taurus is wisdom Everything has a place and purpose. To be wise is to have great love, tolerance and compassion for all things. Look at that. It is, yeah. And I feel that it's about having compassion for yourself first and foremost. And as you have compassion and love yourself and actually just know and understand that whatever this person was doing was not to do with you. It was them. It was all about them, Taurus. So be compassionate to yourself. Apply your wisdom. Walk with your integrity. And your final advice is transformation. Though the great love that holds you in its embrace, you are, mo you are moment by moment transforming to ever greater light ever greater oneness and ever greater wisdom and look at that wisdom was right there absolutely it's all with that justice card that came up maybe um taurus um evidently this is possibly a you know this is a twin flame journey or a very very deep deep soulmate um maybe the lesson that they were bringing to you was to love yourself, was to bring you wisdom through the learning and transformation of what you're going through, knowing that you need to hold on to your integrity, knowing that you need to love yourself first. first. Just know who you are and know that the emotion that you have for this person is real, but they've got you in some kind of cycle going on right now, almost doubting yourself. And I feel that divine is saying, no, 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 no. Don't let that be happening to you, Taurus. This person is gonna come back with their tail between their legs, for sure, because they know who you are. You are their wish fulfillment. You are their happy home. I feel that they do want to marry you if you're not married already. They've got deep, deep, deep regrets and they do want to build this future. They do want this, this solid future with you. They are, you know, all up in their head with the Ten of Swords, with the Eight of Swords here. They're really analysing their mess up. And I feel with the Temperance and the Sun coming out, this is a divinely guided connection. And if you want it, Taurus, it's there for you and it will work out. You just need to allow the transformation to happen. Okay, I'm going to leave that there, Taurus. A beautiful message. Um, a beautiful message for you because you know what? You are beautiful. You are a jewel. And Divine knows it. Your spirit team knows it. And you just need to know it now. If this message resonates for you, Taurus, please feel free to click that thumbs up so that this video gets pushed out to other Tauruses out there because it is a beautiful message. Um, anything that advocates loving yourself is a beautiful message. I advocate that. Um, if you wish to subscribe, that is your choice. I will leave that up to you so that you know when I'm uploading. Until next week. Taurus, I am sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care.
拜。